Hey, welcome to Kiwi Tech, and today we're going to be rooting an Xperia Z Ultra. This is going to be a guide on how to do it. Okay, so we need to enable developer options. So we need to go to About Device and click on your build number 10 times, and that will enable developer options. Then in developer options, you must tick a button that says USB debugging right there. Then we got to plug it in. And as soon as you plug it in, your laptop, your PC, will start to detect your system. And it's probably going to install some drivers, some Sony drivers. If it doesn't, you must make sure it does that. Download some Sony drivers from the Sony website. Um, and then once you've done that, go to the link that says vRoot. And you can download an app called vRoot. Right, so as you can see, it says it can't find the drivers. Um, so I'm going to search the internet for them and that'll be all good so let me just fast forward this because it's got to install them and navigate to the website I'll put a link in the description to that then click on this green button now this is all in um, Mandarin or Cantonese um, so click on that button it'll download see the bottom left corner it's downloading the drivers are still downloading as well let me just fast forward this a little bit okay so it's downloaded I have installed it and vroot will open because I've set it to and now it's going to detect what device I'm running my Xperia Z Ultra you can see the little green circle spinning around and the progress bar will gradually increase this might take a few minutes because it's got to check the internet connection and my internet connection is very slow okay there it goes so one two percent I just got to fast forward this a little bit Okay, so you can see on the left hand side it says C6802, which is my device. Now if we navigate to the bottom right, we can see the button called root. Let's click that. And it may take up to a minute, it may take even more. There you go, it says it's done. And my device is rebooting. Let me just pop this up beside the screen. And you can see my sunny logo. There you go. So it's rebooted itself. Don't worry, it will do it itself. If it doesn't, unplug it plug it back into your laptop, uh, wait for it to detect itself, and click root. Uh, just try it a few times, and it will definitely will work. Okay, so now my device is booted up. Let me just unlock it and show you my app drawer, and you can see there is the Chinese version. Oops, see, it's what he wants to apply root access? Yes, so the little shield, that's the Chinese version of root, or super user. So, now what we need to do is go to the Play Store, Download Super User or Super SU. You can see I've already downloaded it here. And click it. It'll say Update Binaries. Yes. And then it will say, How do you want to do it? Uh, just do it normally. And it will say, Yep, done. You have root access. Now, we have two versions of Super User a Chinese version and an English version. What we need to do now is uninstall the Chinese version. So we click it back into our device. Let me just plug it back in now. And then it'll, yep, yep, so it's detected my device. Let me just cancel over that. Now, next to that green button we clicked that was called root, another white button will appear. There you go, a white button that says unroot. So we need to unroot it, which will delete the Chinese super user. And my device will restart. Let me just click unroot. Yep, it's worked. Device is restarting, and that will take off the Chinese super user. Okay, so the green button, just to cover that again, the green button is root and the white button is unroot. So once my device is rebooted, uh, there will be no Chinese version on there. So what we need to do is just make sure that the binaries have been updated. So let's do it again. So now if I click on the app drawer, you'll see that the Chinese version has gone. Hopefully it's worked. Yep. And I've only got Super USU on there. So that's all I've got. So I'll just click that and make sure the binaries are loaded and you need to go into a setting in that. Okay, now, so click on Super User, and then inside there, click on Settings, and inside Settings, you'll see Install to System. If you do that, uh, your system will then reboot. If it doesn't, just reboot it itself, 
and that will be it. You now have permanent root access on your device. And now let me just show you if this has worked. Go to the Play Store, click on a, an app you know requires root. So, for example, Titanium Backup. And there we go. It's downloaded. We'll click on it, open it up, and it would immediately say it requires root access. Do you want to allow? And that's it. You're done. So that's how to root your Xperia ZSU. Uh, reasonably easy to do, but it does require quite a few things. It's quite fiddly. Anyway, so I hope that's helped you. This has been Kiwi Tech. Stay tuned for more videos on the Xperia Z Ultra.